Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be learning how we can identify how many carbons and how many hydrogens are in line structures. So this first one here is asking us how many carbons are in this compound, right? Now, what you do is this. You see, each of these is a carbon. Okay, each of these sides, they are carbons. All of these are carbon. Okay, now if we count this, it means we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine carbons in this one. Nine. Okay, now what about hydrogen? The only hydrogen we can see here is this, right? But there are other hydrogens present. So how do we identify that? Carbon has a valence electron of four. So to be in this octet, carbon must have four other bonds. So this is it. It has four valence electron. Now the octet state is eight. Okay, so it needs four more it needs four more electrons to be in this octet. Therefore, it must at all times have four bonds. So now that we've identified all the carbon, the next thing we need to do is count the number of bonds that each carbon contain. And then whichever one that is not up to four, hydrogen is what makes up the four. So let's take this one, start from one. The bonds, this is one bond, this is two, this is three, this is four. This carbon here is surrounded by four bonds, which means that it is complete. So we do not have any hydrogen there. We go to the next one, which is two. You have one, you have two. So you have just two bonds here, which means that there are two hydrogens here, which were not written out. So line structures, we do not write hydrogens and carbon out, okay? So, but because of the knowledge of bonding, you can actually tell how many carbons and how many hydrogens that you have. So for this place, we have two hydrogen. We go over to the third one here. This one here, we also have one and two bonds, which means that we have two hydrogens on this place, okay? Then for four, this four here, we have one, we have two, we have three, we have four. So four is complete. We do not need hydrogen there. Four is complete. We go ahead to nine. Nine, we have one, we have two, we have three. Three bonds surrounding nine. So we need one hydrogen here to make it four. So that's one hydrogen. This one, we have one, we have two, we have three. Three, three bonds surrounding that, so we need one hydrogen also, okay? We go over to the seven. Seven here, we have one, we have two, therefore, and then also we have three. This double bond also affects that carbon, so we have three. Therefore, we need one hydrogen. And then this one, the same thing, we have one, two, and three, one hydrogen. This one, one, two, and three, so we need one hydrogen. So now we've written out all the hydrogens here. We can then count. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Therefore, what we have is ten hydrogens. Okay, so that's how you can tell the number of carbons and hydrogen. Now for this one, what you do also, the first step is to identify all your carbons, okay? And all of these corners are carbon. So this is a carbon, this is a carbon, 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 this, 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 and this. And then there is a carbon here, okay? So now let's count. So we have one, two, three, four, five, 
सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन नोट आई एम जस्ट काउंटिंग एट रैंडम राइट वे नॉट नेमिंग सो आई एम नॉट फॉलोइंग एनी पैटर्न जस्ट काउंटिंग नाउ दिस हियर इज टेन कार्बोस so we have 10 carbons now how do we know our hydrogen we start again okay we start from one this carbon here has just one bond therefore there's going to be three hydrogens here okay three hydrogens now this one here it has 1 2 3 4 no hydrogen bonds complete no hydrogen Now the one here, it has one two, so you're gonna be having two hydrogens. It needs two more. Okay. Then we go over to four. Four has one two, so there's gonna be two hydrogens here. For five, you have one two three. There's gonna be one hydrogen. And then we go over to six. We have one, two. It's gonna be two hydrogens. For seven, you have one, two, three. So there's gonna be one hydrogen. For eight, I have one, two, and three. It's gonna be one hydrogen. Nine, I have one and two. There's gonna be two hydrogen. Okay. Then for ten, I have one and two. There's also gonna be two hydrogen. So now I think we've um, gone across all the carbons. We then count. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. So we have sixteen hydrogens in total. This last one, you can pause the video and try this by yourself. And when you're done, you can play it and check if you're correct. Okay. So for this one, we're gonna identify our carbons. This is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So for this, we have eleven carbons. Okay, so we have eleven, and then our hydrogen. We start again for this one here. You're gonna have three hydrogens, three of them, and that is because you have just one bond. This is one bond. So for this one, I have one, two, three. So I'm gonna have one hydrogen to make it four. This one I have one, two, three. So I'm gonna have one hydrogen to make it four. And this one here, I'm gonna have one, two, three, so one hydrogen to make it four bonds for carbon. So remember again, carbon must have four bonds. Okay. Now for this one, I have one, two. There's gonna be two hydrogens. Then this will have just one, so three hydrogens. This one here, yeah, one, two, three. So there's gonna be one hydrogen. This has just one, so three of them. And then over here you have one, two. So you're gonna have two hydrogens. Then we have one and two, two hydrogens here also. And then this one, just one. You have three of them. Okay, now we're done. The next counts. So count from here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, so we're gonna have a twenty-two covers. All right, so that is it.
So this is how you can figure out the carbons and hydrogens in line structures. Okay, you can just take it step by step. By the time you practice a lot, it's going to be easy for you. You don't have to do all this counting. But this is what you can do as a starter or someone that is just learning organic chemistry, um, the beginner stage. Okay, I hope this has helped. And remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye.